Hello everybody, how are you doing? In just a couple of weeks, we would be hitting 2020. It's a new year and a new decade altogether. All of those people who are thinking of immigrating to Canada in the near future, this video is for all of you guys. Because in this video, I'll tell you a few realities that will open your eyes. Actually, what happens is that expectations are different and the reality is a bit different and it's very difficult to accept at times. So I want to make sure that before you decide and before you actually go ahead with your dream of living in Canada, you know all the realities of living here. So this video would be for all of those people who are actually thinking of, thinking of immigrating in the uh, near future, who haven't started their process yet or you may have started your process. Uh, you might be getting your PR very soon. So for all of those people, this video would be very interesting and might be some of the myths would also be cleared through this video. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay, before I start this video, let me make it very clear that my intention of making this video is not to demotivate or discourage anyone out there. I regularly make videos to help you guys immigrate to Canada, to help you guys settle here in Canada, but it is not always right to show you the rosy picture of uh, life in Canada. There are some harsh realities. You do, you face a lot of struggles actually over here as well. So. In this regards, I wanted to make this video to tell you guys the actual reality of what is life about here in Canada. When we crack IELTS, we get really happy. When we get our ITA, we get uh, overjoyed. When we get the PPR mail, the golden mail, of course, there's no limit to our happiness. But all of this might be short-lived because when you land here in Canada, you get to know the actual reality. The reality is that uh, your struggle periods begins when you land here in Canada. Coping up with the cold weather of Canada, it is definitely not easy to cope up with that cold weather if you land here in uh, the months of uh, November to April. That struggle includes finding your first home to rent, that struggle includes finding your first job, that struggle includes uh, living in the limited amount of money that you earn for the first couple of months or maybe you know first couple of years even that struggle also includes uh living away from your home country because you have a limited amount of money you can't afford to go back to your home country every now and then to meet your family and friends so there are a lot of struggles and we'll be talking about most of them in this video okay so first of all let me talk to all of those guys who are uh, thinking of immigrating to canada down the line who are yet to decide if they should actually immigrate or not so uh, you get influenced by the videos, by people talking about it in your office, maybe your friends, maybe uh, the Western lifestyle. Uh, you get to see some ads on newspapers through some uh, job agencies or consultancies that you could get the PR in uh, less than six months or maybe in six months. So let me tell you that uh, that is not always true. In fact, in most of the cases, you would never hear that uh, they got the PR in six months. So six months is the time when uh, you get your IT and actually you'll submit your documents and after that it will take six months. Before that, there's a long uh, list of process which needs to be completed, like completing your education credential assessment, like uh, getting the IELTS done, arranging all the documents, submitting it. Uh, if you clear the score, all of these points are there. So overall, in a nutshell, you would, uh, I should say that uh, you would complete the uh, process or you would get the PR if everything is fine everything is right then you would get the PR in approximately 10 months to one year so let's assume you get it in one year so don't ever think that uh, you know don't ever plan it that way that uh, it is uh, 2020 is about to start and uh, by before the end of 2020 I would be in Canada that would never happen if you haven't you know started preparing for IELTS if you haven't uh, gone through the process of uh, the uh, express entry it would never happen. So if you are thinking of starting right now, think of moving to Canada in 2021. That would be a much more realistic scenario to talk about. Okay, so apart from time, money is the other factor. So if you're thinking of immigrating to Canada through Express Entry program, you must know that you should have a lot of money in your account. Uh, to be very true, I would give you the exact picture over here. 
so you should have this much money in your account apart from the expenses that you make uh, during the complete process so in a nutshell you should have something around uh, 10 to 15 lakh in your accounts if you are thinking uh, of starting the process and your family of uh, three to four people okay having said that it is very important to know the kind of struggles that you would be facing in your initial days of landing here in canada first of all you need a place to live and then you can start living from there right but finding the first home in Canada is not very easy, even for renting, because when you've just landed here, you don't have a credit history. And landlords actually look for credit history or your job. Now you don't have a job and you don't have a credit history because you have just landed here. Nobody accepts the credit history of your home country. They ask for the Canadian credit history. Now don't worry, nobody sleeps on the streets, everybody gets a home, but it depends on the kind of home which you want to get. So you, because you don't have a job, you don't have a credit history, so what actually landlords look for is uh, upfront payment. So maybe they can ask you of paying the rents for the last six months and then uh, you would pay regular rents for the next six months. So that is something which uh, which can happen with you. So in that case, you should have a lot of money with you when you land here in Canada. So finding the first home for renting is a struggle in a city like Toronto in your initial days. And many people who have uh, just immigrated here would tell you that you can also get a help from a friend or a relative who has been here. They can be your guarantor. So that way, in that case, you would get uh, your first uh, home pretty easily. But if you don't know anyone who's ready to be uh, to become your guarantor, then it can be a problem for you in the initial days. Okay, talking of money, you must know that Canada is very expensive. Sometimes we assume that we would go there, we would get the job and then life would be happy ever after. But that is not always the case. I'm not discouraging anyone. But once you come here, you realize that it is a very expensive place actually and uh, you would spend much more than you've actually thought or your budget would actually allow for so this is something which is very common again that people would face uh, you know that kind of problem that uh, they're not able to manage their expenses uh, because it is very expensive and obviously you are starting your uh, life from scratch here so when you come uh, you don't have a furniture you don't have uh, utensils to cook your food you have to get everything from scratch so think about it well in advance plan beforehand save money before you come here so that at least if you don't have the job you can use that money for your own comfort you don't face any difficulty in your initial days obviously if you have money you are the king right okay talking of jobs many people ask me this question that is it actually easy to get a job while you're in your home country even after you've got your pr so the answer is no it's not all easy to get a job while you're sitting in your home country you should definitely come here then look for jobs i'm not saying it's impossible but it is not at all easy your job search basically starts when you land here in canada it is very important to set the expectations right because people think that we would go over there in the first couple of uh, weeks we would get the job no it's not always necessary that you would get the job in the first uh, couple of weeks. I know my friends uh, who have been struggling here for the last three months, people actually get discouraged because uh, they're not getting the job. They expected something else and now he they're here. Uh, they're getting the job interviews, but uh, they're not able to clear those interviews or maybe they're not even getting the interview calls. It is frustrating. So in that case, you should actually be very open to survival jobs if you've taken one step of moving to Canada, if you've taken such a big step of changing your uh, country where you want to live, then in that case, you should be a bit flexible. I would advise you that uh, go for survival jobs, you know, jobs in Tim Hortons, jobs in McDonald's, in Walmart, anywhere. No job is small. Please remember that. It's very important. Don't get discouraged if you're not getting the kind of job that you actually were wishing for or you were actually expecting. You would face problems like uh, no Canadian experience, uh, lower salaries being offered, lower positions being offered, and people get discouraged by these uh, all of these factors. That uh, I was working there in, in my home country as a manager. Now I have to work as an individual contributor. But all of these factors would be valid only for first few months. After that, keep hustling, keep struggling. And I'm pretty sure almost everyone gets the, the job that actually they want uh, and they wish for. But it is important to keep hustling and uh, keep struggling. Don't give up.
again talking of these struggles and the reality you should know that not everyone finds the job in the first few months as i told you i know a couple of people who are actually discouraged at this time because they came here expecting that they would get the job in the uh, initial days but they haven't grabbed any job offer until now they're not willing to work for survival jobs and their money is getting drained out that is a very big problem most of us actually belong to very humble financial backgrounds what happens actually is let let's say if you uh, immigrated to canada you have around 15000 uh, canadian dollars in your account now you've landed here you know that uh, your expense is 3000 per month and you can survive for about 5 months it's 3 months are already over you haven't got the job you have spent like 10000 bucks already you're not very sure what will be i able to do in the next couple of months with just those 5000 bucks left in your account that is also harsh reality that if you're not able to grab a job offer in the first few months uh your money is getting drained out there's no inflow of money only money is going out of your bank accounts you get really tensed about it but yes everybody gets a job don't hesitate to work for survival jobs don't hesitate to work uh in walmart in mcdonalds and tim hortons patience is the key i am sure you would be able to grab a job offer if you hustle if you keep your calm and be patient for a longer period of time okay so to summarize all what i said life would not be rosy if you land here without a job you would face a lot of struggles in your initial days you would face struggles in finding your first home to rent you would face struggles in finding your first job you would face many struggles because you have to start your life from scratch you have to get your uh, bed and furniture you have to get the, your uh, utensils where you would actually cook your food you have to get everything and you can't carry that from your home country so that is something that would trouble you in your initial days but don't get discouraged uh, my motive of uh, making this video as i told you earlier in this video is not to discourage or demotivate anyone in fact to tell you the reality so that you set your expectations right in the new year So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up button and yes if you agree with what I have to said and if you don't agree even, please mark down a comment below so that I can read it and I can get to know your thoughts about it. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Click on the subscribe button because I regularly make videos that can help you immigrate to Canada and that can help you settle here in your dream country.